this rivalry between how you put your, uh, which order you put your cream and your jam on a scone or a scone. So we've heard a lot about this. What do they call this? Eng English cream tea. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Good morning from Exeter. Morning. So it is uh, day two of five of our rabies trip. And today the weather has taken a little bit of a turn. It's very foggy. <laughs> we looked out our, our window this morning and we were like, oh, oh, we're back in England. This is the winter that we were expecting. Because if you didn't catch yesterday's video, oh, here's rabies right here. If you didn't catch yesterday's video, um, rabies is like a tour company that operates like a 16 seater, really nice van minibus style thing, which we'll show you in just a second. He's just pulled up uh, in England, Ireland, and Scotland, Scotland well. and they do trips to Wales and so we're doing a five-day trip around Cornwall well, down around to Cornwall and Devon um, Cornwall, Cornwall <laughs> and Devon so we had our full English breakfast this morning we're staying at uh, Jury's Inn which was such a comfy sleep this is our van it's an absolute beast it is so much more comfortable than what we expected it to be and we basically sit in this thing and then we get a whole bunch of information as the day goes on and today we've got massive plans again probably not as much driving we don't think good morning to everyone not really the sunny morning that i intended but for a day on the moors this is pretty suitable very spooky misty weather before we head out onto dartmoor national park Somebody that loves the great outdoors, Dartmoor National Park is definitely one of the best national parks in the country after the Lake District, of course, not going to be able to beat the Lake District, sadly, but Dartmoor nonetheless, very, very unique, very picturesque, very, very famous and very, very historic. Welcome to New Zealand. <laughs> That's what it feels like. We've just been driving through the Dartmoor National Park after going down through some windy little roads and some misty little hills and everything. And look at the setting, it's absolutely stunning. So they've got a case of, uh, they've got a lot of wild ponies here. So everybody's out on the road now because they've just found a couple on the side of the street here. They're going over. Oh, hey guys! People are going to wonder who the smoothing, soothing English voice is, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is the man right here. <laughs> <laughs> there have been so many sheep and like cows and everything on the road as we're walking along. Yeah, they call it Devonshire traffic. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. Bam! That's the first story of the day. Well, catchphrase of the day. It feels a lot like home it really does i said that as i was getting off the bus before oh, did like you? it's yeah. so it is so similar so the first story of the day is actually all about the rivalry between two areas so between devon where we are now in cornwall and basically there's just a kind of like a friendly rivalry uh when it comes to tourism apparently so, because of the agriculture and stuff as well yeah, so like industries. it goes back over generations yeah so it even it even goes down to <laughs> this rivalry between how you put your uh, which order you put your cream and your jam on a scone 
or a scone. So we've heard a lot about this. What do they call it? Eng English cream tea. Yes. So that is going to be our next stop where we try some famous so English excited. cream tea. <laughs> and this rivalry is all about doing things differently. I can't remember which way around it was, but one I of the... I think in Devon you put the cream on first. We'll right. confirm. Yeah. Don't want to get that wrong. That's right. No, you're right. That is the way around. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently it's about being individual. I think it was Devon first that had their own flag and then so Cornwall was like, well, we're going to get our own flag. So yeah. I don't think we're going to like get beaten up if we do it the wrong way around. But I mean, it, maybe it's worth trying. <laughs> We've just got off now anyway, we're going to go and check out, um, what's this called, this is the Clapham, this is Clapper, Clapper Bridge, Clapper Bridge, Clapham Bridge, Clapper, because it was all about the clapping of the ponies as they went across, oh how cute, going for a little wander now, just in these very calm, tiny little streets, it's peaceful out here, it's so nice to be out of the city, we love London, but instantly it's like, it's yes, it's peaceful until I go, <laughs> So we've now passed through the green and all the scenery and everything of the Dartmoor National Park and we've come into a town called Tavistock and we are finally, it's happening, I'm so excited for this, we are about to try English cream tea for the first time. Okay, so this is cream tea for one, so basically you just get a scone, a scone. we went for just a plain one, you get some clotted cream and then you get some jam and an English breakfast tea. Soft. I did not expect the cream to be as, as thick. It kind of looks like cheese. Yeah, it does. Oh, but look underneath. Wow, okay, it's a different colour. So the top almost looks a bit crispy from here. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Don't know. We've got a little little biscuit there too with our, with our tea. Rum, going in. Are okay, do it. Get in there. Oh, it's dense. I was fully expecting that to come out already like yeah, separated, same. but it is so thick as well. Wow, that's a huge scoff. Now, which county are we in? Where are we? We're in Devon, so we have to go cream first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Wish me luck. Hopefully I don't offend anybody. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do a double a double taste test. Oh. I've got the heavy, isn't it? So I've, light. I've got the top. Is that what you've got? Yeah, I've got the top. The too. top, so it's like um, <laughs> firmer <laughs> on the, firmer on the bottom. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Mmm. It's very sweet. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna say first off, because the scone is so thick. It's almost like a. I just want, I'm just staring at it. You can keep eating. It's almost like a dry sort of like. Biscuity. Yeah, dry, almost biscuity taste. It's not like a sweet scone like what I would sort of normally expect. Next layer. I said it's really sweet, but that must have just been the no, cream. No, I think the, that, I think that's the cream because the cream has almost got a sweet taste to it. I can't think because I just want to eat this whole thing. Right? Okay, it's, so it seems like it's Take a perfect. It away, it's, <laughs> it's a perfect balance because it's like dry biscuity on the bottom, then this like clotty sort of um, cream? creamy like thickness. Yeah. Then with the like sugary sweetness okay. on the top, and when it all comes together. You can taste all like the different layers like coming. It's a great combination. Wow. We're sold. We are absolutely sold. I feel like we're going to be hunting this out everywhere now. Why do they not have this in more places around the world? It's very English. It is very English. I feel so English here, especially sitting down. A little cup of tea, a little concrete. A little cup of tea. Cup of tea, concrete wall behind us. Oh, is this, this is the life. I'm genuinely in love with this. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. This is like. It is about 10 times better than I anticipated. I'm not normally a scone person, but this is magic. But there's two types of people in this world. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just sorting out the, 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 half, the bottom half now. There's two types of people in this world, have a look. There's the ones that use every single last, there's no corners obviously, but every single edge. And then there's those that would like just slob it all on. But I'm definitely gonna work the whole corner, absolutely everything. I don't know how you no, can. don't, don't show that. It looks savage. I'm just doing what it takes to be able to eat this thing because it's so good. Part of the 
Burrator Reservoir. Built in the late sort of 19th century, not the most historic part of the moors, but nonetheless it's very beautiful there. And in actual fact is the River Dart that flows through this very, very famous dam. Another stop for the afternoon. We're very full. I still feel quite heavy after <laughs> your big scone. <laughs> the big scone. I ate half of Stacey's as well, <laughs> yeah, though. <you> did. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Barata Reservoir, and we had never heard of it before today. No. Sort of places that we would never get to. And I'm really digging that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm really enjoying this tour because it's like. Well, today is quite different from yesterday. It's very varied. In what way? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because yeah. today we're doing lots of little stops yeah, along yeah. the way. And yesterday, even though we were in the car for quite a while, it, it, was, was, it was longer distances yeah. to get down this, to like towards this region, but wasn't it? Was it was still from so London. interesting. Mm. But yeah, I do like today. I like getting to see a lot of different things all in one day. <laughs> Just watching Dean, that tall guy. What's he doing? He's standing out there now. He's... Oh, I can't see the horses now. There's. He's down the end here. That's him there, and there are some horses or some more ponies up there somewhere. And he's going to say hello. It's 3 p.m. now, and we are back in Exeter, which, by the way, is the home of Chris Martin from Coldplay, we have just found out. Which is one of the interesting stories from the day. It's very difficult to capture. Um, we're learning so many of these crazy, like historic facts and interesting stories. Trying to remember the best ones to share with you guys. But I think today's probably the biggest thing was it was just it was cool being in Tavistock, which is the home of uh, or birthplace of Sir Francis Drake, who's pivotal in the history of England as a whole. And finding out about his secret pirate missions that were like sanctioned by the Queen and all of these mysterious things that he was off doing, circumnavigating the globe, the first person in England, I think, to do so. Uh, and then to find out that he is then buried in a full suit of armour in an iron uh, casket um, and then buried or at sea, dropped at sea and still hasn't been found yet off the coast of Panama. I mean, I just don't, just the randomness of it all is absolutely crazy. But um, yeah, we're back in Exeter now. Uh, and we've got the evening now, just free time to do what we want. So we've, I've just been to get some snacks. We're just back at our hotel. We're just going to warm up real quick. And there's, uh, there's a lot to do here. There's uh, Roman ruins, there's an uh, incredible cathedral, and a whole bunch of other stuff, and some underground passages and all sorts. But we've filmed plenty in this video, so I think what we're going to do is uh, just explore a little bit by ourselves this evening, and we will catch you guys in a couple of days' time for the next video, which is when we are heading to Cornwall, and uh, we'll then have to eat our, uh, <laughs> eat our English tea scones up the other way. So uh, we will catch you then for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the comments. Bye.